No sign of Chris Grayling at his home in Surrey tonight. And while the transport secretary was said to have been in his department earlier, he was nowhere to be seen there either. Constituents expecting to meet him here today would also have been disappointed. The man facing so many questions about the waste of so much public money, keeping a very low profile. Chris Grayling was expected to attend his weekly surgery at this library in his constituency this afternoon, but like some of the trains he's responsible for and some of the ferries, he failed to arrive. An entry in the diary at the library suggested a late cancellation by the cabinet minister. It was left to others to explain why a multi-million pound payout was made to Eurotunnel, an out-of-court settlement for a botched ferry contract Mr Grayling arranged in preparation for a no-deal Brexit. Is it time for him to resign? Uh, no, this is a really important agreement that uh, we've come to as a government as a whole. Uh, it's very important that whatever the Brexit scenario, we can have that unhindered supply of medicines. The Eurotunnel payout cost £33 million, while a bungled privatisation scheme for the probation service, when Mr Grayling was Justice Secretary, cost £467 million. Cancelling the East Coast Rail franchise also meant £2 billion in lost revenue. The country cannot afford Chris Grayling. He's got to go for the credibility of our nation. And my goodness me, the people who are working for him must be pulling their hair out. He stumbles from catastrophe to disaster and it's just gross incompetence on an industrial scale. The Ministry of Justice set itself up to fail in how it reformed probation services. It hasn't delivered the rehabilitation revolution it promised and its decision to end the contracts 14 months early will cost the taxpayer an additional, an additional £467 million. In his Surrey constituency, there was little sympathy for the Transport Secretary, though few thought he should actually quit. There's worse than him, a hell of a lot worse than him. In fact, there's a whole list that should resign before him. Now's not the time, they've got enough on their plate to deal with. Deal with all the Brexit rubbish and all this stuff, then sort him out. He's had to pay them 33 million. Is that a good use of public money? No, no that's ne it's never a good use of money, public money. No, to pay a private company for a government blunder. No. Whatever the views here, there's no sign yet that Chris Grayling is destined for a quiet life on the backbenches anytime soon. The Brexit crisis causing the Cabinet to close ranks.